folks, it's Richard from Inclusive Driving. In this video, we've been driving on some one-way streets, sometimes called one-way systems. We'll have a look at some of the road signs so that we know we're into a one-way street and we'll have a look at the road signs as we come out of one-way streets as well. Importantly, we will have a look at how your road position will change for left turns and right turns, either at the end of the one-way system or as you're going partway through the one-way street and turning left or right into a side road. Let's have a look at what it says in DES, Driving the Essential Skills. One-way streets. In one-way streets, all traffic flows in one direction. Position your vehicle according to whether you intend to go ahead, turn left or turn right. And we'll see this as we go through some of the video. To turn left, keep to the left-hand side or the left-hand lane. To turn right, keep to the right-hand lane. Or if there are no road markings dividing the road into lanes, keep to the right-hand side. And to go ahead, it's the usual get-out clause in DES, isn't it? Be guided by the road markings. If there's no specific lane for ahead, select the most appropriate lane. That could be the left lane. It could be towards the middle of the road, probably not towards the right of the road, unless you're going ahead into maybe a staggered junction. Follow the road markings, get into the correct lane as soon as possible and stay in this lane. It also says, watch for drivers making sudden lane changes. And here's another sentence from Des that is particularly important for theory tests. Traffic in one-way streets often flows freely. Be aware that vehicles may pass on either side of you. So essentially this is saying that on a one-way street, you can overtake somebody on the left, sometimes known as undertaking. While we were filming this, we tried to get some footage of overtaking on the left, but the traffic conditions just didn't work out. But when we get to the relevant point in this video, we'll point out where we could potentially overtake somebody on the left-hand side. So here we are approaching a one-way street. We're turning left at the mini roundabout, and you'll see the rectangular sign, blue sign with the white arrow, indicating that you are now in a one-way system. So you should notice that all of the parked cars are facing the same direction as you. Here we're going round a bend and we can see the road says no entry to prevent traffic coming into here. Another one way street sign just for anybody who's turned in from that side road. We're going to turn right into a side road. So note how we position our car over to the right hand side. Another one-way street sign, we're still in a one-way system and at the end of this road we will turn right. Because there's more one-way roads around here you'll see that there's a no entry sign to stop us turning left and there's also a no left turn sign. Again at the end of this road we will turn right so we position over to the right the road's not marked into two lanes, so we just position towards the right-hand side. Here's a warning sign to say that we're approaching two-way traffic, but as we're turning right, we're actually going back into the same one-way system that we were in about a minute ago. This time we're not going to turn right, we're going to continue this road, we're going to follow the road ahead. So note how we're more to the left or centre of the road, we're not positioning to the left or the right, which would give the impression of turning. At the end of this road there's a giveaway line, but it's leading into another one-way street. So in a moment we'll see a sign that says you must turn left ahead and you've also got paint in the road saying turn left
So we're still on another one-way street. All the cars that are parked are facing away from us. And at this roundabout, we're going to turn right. It's the third exit, which you will see is yet another one-way street. So here's the one-way street sign. Just a reminder sign that it's a one-way street just in case anybody's come out of that side road that was on the left and they need reminding at the end of this road we're going to turn left you'll see that the road splits into two lanes there's a definite left turn and a right turn arrow and at the end of this road again we'll turn left and once again, there's a definite left turn lane and a right turn lane. Traffic's a little busy here, so we were waiting at this giveaway line for a little while. As you can see, we're now emerging onto a two-way road. We'll be going up to the traffic lights and turning left and then turning left again. Still in a two-way road, we can definitely see traffic coming towards us. So left turn at these traffic lights. And it will be left turn at the next traffic lights as well. lights are in our favour as you'll see and we're able to continue. So we're approaching the roundabout again this time from the opposite direction we'll be turning left first exit which is into the one-way system again. So positioning to turn left. Have a look and see if there's a warning sign to say that we're going into a two-way traffic area at the end of this road. There it is on the right. So we have been warned that this is now a two-way road. Taking the first road on the left here, just bypassing the traffic lights. Now we know that we're coming up to a one-way system, but if we'd not been around the system before, here comes the blue sign to say, you must turn left ahead. And it's reinforced with painting the road. I'm surprised there isn't a left turn only sign facing opposite us. Not really necessary, I suppose, because we've had the you must turn left ahead sign. This time at the end of the road we're going to turn right, so we take up the right lane, reinforced with a right arrow. And you must turn right. No giveaway line for us, follow the road ahead. We're going to turn right at the roundabout again. the one-way street sign at the end of this road we'll take up a left turn position but then at the end of the next road we'll turn right
if you're interested in finding this area it's in Willenhall and it's near to the Morrison supermarket it's a great place for practicing one-way streets it's a great place for instructors to teach one-way streets as well so here we take up a right turn position so it's marked as right arrow there's the warning sign for two-way traffic incidentally this is quite a nasty right turn it's really difficult to see around the corner so that's the area around by Willenhall Morrison's we'll cut the video here and we'll re-emerge on another interesting one-way street hi this is Richard from the future while we were editing this video it just occurred to me that maybe I needed to explain there was a difference between the two warning signs saying that you were going into a two-way traffic area. On the one sign, you've got the arrows going up and down. So that tells you that you're not going to be changing your direction, but that at that point, you're no longer in a one-way system and traffic will be coming towards you. The other sign where the arrows go left to right, you will generally find that if you are coming up to a giveaway line and you are going to be joining a new road which is two-way from your own one-way road. So I just hope that clears that up and let's go back to the present. So the area we're going to now is also in Willenhall, but this is Gypsy Lane. At the start of the road, it's not marked as a one-way street and it is two-way, but when you get about halfway down the road, it becomes a one-way street. And then after another few hundred meters or so, it becomes a two-way street again. So we'll go and have a look at that and we'll go and have a look at the signs that tell us when it's one-way and when it's two-way. We'll be taking the next road onto the left, a little bit of a sharp bend onto Gypsy Lane. So as you can see, there's no indication of it being a one way street. parked cars facing in both directions okay, and that tells us it probably is a two-way street and in a moment you'll see a sign to tell you that you're going into a one-way section of this street and here's the sign left and right so now all the cars should be parked facing away from us. Another reminder that we're on a one-way street. And then in a moment you'll see a sign to say two-way traffic. And incidentally on the back of that sign would have been a no entry sign so that any traffic coming towards us would know that they cannot go any further. There are several ways to help this channel. Like this video, so that it gets shown to other people. Share it with your friends on social media to make sure that they see it. And most of all, subscribe to the channel to show your ongoing support and help me keep creating new content. We've now come to an area just outside West Bromwich. Uh, theoretically, this could come up on a Wensbury driving test. We'll be turning right at these traffic lights. It's two-way at the moment, but you'll see there is going to be a one-way sign and there's also a no entry sign as well to tell you that there's one road you cannot go down because it's against the one-way flow of traffic. Apologies for the sun glare here. So there's a sign to say you must turn left. It's a keep left sign, a no entry sign. We're now in the one-way system. Now 
I want to turn right, so I'm going to position over to the right. That's a lane change, so mirror, signal, maneuver. As we do this right turn, you can see that there is traffic coming towards us, so that suggests that there's going to be two lanes of traffic around the bend. Just watch out for parked cars. They could be on either side of this road. We're going to turn left at the end, so we need to move over to the left-hand lane. Mirror signal maneuver again. So this is the road where theoretically we could overtake people in the right lane with us in the left lane. see if there's traffic coming towards us so we're now back on a two-way road we're going to turn left at the end of this road it's onto a two-way road but it then becomes that one-way system again just approaching it from the opposite direction this time once we've gone round the bend to the left into the one-way system we're going to take the first road on the right which means we need to set up our position in the right-hand lane of the one-way system. a bend to the left we've got the black and white chevron markings coming up to tell you that the road is a sharp bend there's the you must turn left ahead sign black and white chevrons here and we're going to take the first road on the right so we need to position ourselves over to the right hand lane don't make the mistake of going up to the centre line as you would if you were turning right off a two-way road. This is a one-way street, so we need to position over to the right for this right turn. At the end of this road, we'll see we're joining the one-way system again and we'll see there is a you must turn right sign at the end. You'll also see that the giveaway markings, the double dotted line for coming out of the road, goes across the whole width of the road. There's no single dotted line half of the road. There's the you must turn right sign. So there were a couple of examples of driving on one-way systems, one-way streets, looking at the signs you might see to tell you that it's a one-way system and the sign you might see when you're coming back into a two-way road. We've looked at positioning, very important for positioning for right turns. It almost feels like you're on the wrong side of the road, but if you were to turn right from the left lane, that could be potentially dangerous and would probably be a serious fault if you did that on a driving test. So as always, I hope this video has been useful for you and we'll see you on another video very soon.